Hey guys, I'm Hohin and this is a beginner's guide to For Honor. Now, this guide will be focused mainly on general aspects of the game, so I won't be going in on a specific area such as heroes, maps, modes, and equipment. However, this guide will be focusing on things that can help players who are new to the game to adapt comfortably by acting as a guideline. Without anything to do, let's go right into it. So my first tip will be looking through the movesets for the hero you will be playing. When you first start the game, you are able to choose a faction and then a hero when you dive into multiplayer. Many new players, including myself when I just started, will just pick a hero and do single light or heavy attacks during combat. However, checking the movesets will allow you to execute follow-ups on these single attacks and create a mini combo. Not only shortening the lag time between each attack, but it is also harder to predict. Well, you won't always have to rely on combos, sometimes when countering or harassing, throwing in a light jab in order to disengage will be the most efficient thing to do. However, having some of the moves memorized can often give you an upper hand when dueling or in elimination. Though in Dominion, it may be harder due to how fast paced the mode is compared to the others. The second tip I have relies on you to be paying attention to your surroundings. You can use these when finding your enemies as an advantage to push against them. For example, there can be lava in certain spots where you can knock them into it without being in combat for a very long time. This can save a lot of time especially in Dominion and Elimination as it can allow you to go and help others out. Other surroundings can allow you to stun your enemy for a brief moment, disabling the HUD so they cannot figure out the direction you are attacking from just by the red arrows. The next tip I want to talk about is an easy one to do. Once you finish a match, you will often receive gear and many times these gears are not as good compared to the ones you already own. Hence, you can go into the customization screen for your hero and proceed to dismantle the gear into Samurai Salvage which can be used to upgrade your current equipped gear. This is a more efficient way of disposing the useless gears you receive. The next thing coming up is the use of feats. Feats are like skills that you can use when you level up in game. When I first started, I will always forget to use my feat to play it more strategically, only realizing it after I die. Similar to the second tip, the result can be game changing, a specific feat can allow you to damage your enemy and thus taking out the risk of you needing to go in and finish your opponent off. The last tip I want to give is to utilize the guard break mechanism. Some of the players I go up against may always try to find different directions to attack from in order to catch the enemy off guard, but many times these attacks can be blocked easily and only serves to waste your stamina which in turn gives the enemy a chance to trade back. Guard break can be used to deal with this situation where you cannot find an entry point to get in and do some damage. Do really pay attention to how your enemy reacts though, as when someone tries to attack, the guard break will not work, and instead leaves you open to be hit. So be sure not to overly abuse this, as it can be used against you as well. An extra point I want to talk about is a little fun side game that's in For Honor. Every time you finish a multiplayer match, you can deploy your war assets to help out in a big macro war game similar to the Total War series where the situation of your faction will update every once in a while. Now I still haven't kind of convinced myself that this is accurate as it feels kind of gimmicky but it's still fun to watch the factions clash together. One last clarification is that these tips mentioned before are just to help you start the game in a more comfortable position. As you get more experienced, you'll learn more mechanical aspects of the game, such as zoning, harassing, and counterattacking, which wraps up as a hero placement kind of section. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, comment if you have any, and I'll see you guys next time.